Hey everybody and welcome back to the video devlog for Gravity Ace. So a few of you asked me last time, how do you make those line trails behind bullets in the ship? I'll show you in this video along with code and an explanation of how it all works. But first, um, I've been feeling a little tiny bit burnt out. Uh, maybe burnt out is the wrong word, it's more like I've been working on this game for a long time. When you work on a game or any long term project, you're excited to do all this stuff at the beginning. But then you run out of fun stuff to work on and you reach a stage where you just need to execute. You know, like, the creative part is done, all the big decisions have been made, and now you just need to make it. You've heard this before, but it's totally true. Starting a game is pretty easy, but finishing a game is hard. So I entered a game jam yesterday. Let me first say that jams are great because they teach you how to go through the entire process of making a game from start to finish. The short time, this one was 12 hours, requires you to learn important skills like becoming proficient with your tools, cutting scope, learning to make pragmatic decisions. Those are super important skills if you want to finish a game in a reasonable amount of time, and those lessons are especially important for beginners. So. I don't participate in jams much anymore because I feel like I've learned those lessons already, like they're seared into my deepest nooks and crannies, and I think there are less painful ways than jams to come up with good ideas. Uh, but I had an itch to do something creative and ship something, so I joined, and it was just what I needed. Go look at itch.io's game jam calendar if you're looking for a jam. I've also been playing Jupiter Hell out now in Steam Early Access. I grew up with Doom, and this game captures its essence in a turn-based roguelike. It's great. I totally recommend it. Okay, line trails. Here's what they look like in Gravity Ace. I use them mainly on the ship and bullets to increase visibility and give them a sense of speed, and because they just look cool. Here's the setup. The trail seen as a lone node 2D with a script. By itself, a node 2D doesn't show anything on the screen. But all Node 2Ds let you use basic 2D drawing functions to draw on the screen. Let's look at the code. First, I export a few variables for length and thickness. I'll use those later. They're exported so that they appear in the property inspector. Next, I set up an array to hold all of the points I want to draw the line trail through, and a variable for counting frames. Then, in physics process, I start recording global positions. Every third frame, I store the current global position of the node 2D in the array. If you're doing this type of sampling, you should always do it based on time and not frames, because frame rate is variable. I only get away with it here because physics process always runs at 60 FPS. If you did it in process, your trail would be shorter or longer depending on the frame rate. If the array is at its maximum length, then I remove the oldest point, then I call update every frame, which triggers the node to redraw itself in the draw method. In draw, I'm using a method called draw polyline colors that can draw all of the points in one go. That method requires two or more points, so I return immediately if there aren't that many in the array. Then I loop through the points and adjust each one by subtracting the current global position of, node, of the node 2D. Uh, this is important, otherwise the trail would move with the node 2D instead of uh, living in global space. I also create an array of colors where I adjust the alpha of the modulate property based on the index of the current point so that the line fades out towards the end. Uh, finally, I set the draw transform so that the rotation of the parent is canceled out and then draw the line. Using it as simple, I just instance it in whatever parent scene I like and adjust its color, length, thickness, and it knows how to draw itself. Godot has a node called Line2D that would simplify some of this. You'd still need to sample the points, but I think you could probably remove the draw method completely and adjust the rotation and position of the Line2D each frame. Should work the same. Uh, when I started this project, I didn't know Line2D existed, so this is what I came up with. And performance is fine, so I have no reason to rewrite it now. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or tips you want to share. Also, please go to gravityace.com where you'll find my Steam and Itch links where you can follow and wishlist the game. Have a happy Christmas and New Year. I hope you get to spend some time with people who love you. Thanks, and see you next time.